A Southeast Portland man is urging the city to do more to address the homeless and drug crises in the city. He lives and works near 122nd and Burnside and says he sees drug use daily and has been threatened while just doing his job. As Fox 12's Chandler Watkins reports, he wants something done soon. On Tuesday, we spoke to a man who didn't want to be identified, who's lived and worked near 122nd and Burnside in East Portland for about a year. He says he's seen a lot of problems in the area, particularly with drugs. They're all using that drug called fentanyl. While he hasn't seen an overdose, he says a colleague has. My supervisor had told somebody that, um, that they have to leave off the ledge, and no sooner than they left off the ledge, they overdosed. He's had conversations regarding safety while doing his job. He says if you feel unsafe, uh, don't go out there and take, you know, don't go out front and patrol if, 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 if you feel unsafe. Do you yeah. feel like it hinders your job? At times it does, yes. He provided pictures showing the area around where he works. You can see trash, needles, and other items strewn down the sidewalk. When I go on patrol, I got to take pictures of the property. And uh, sometimes these people get mad when you're taking pictures, yet they're on your property. He says he's run into problems with people experiencing homelessness who disregard signs saying no trespassing and get hostile when asked to move. When they get kicked out in front of one building, they go to another building. And when they get kicked out of all the buildings, they go to uh, the TriMet platforms. And it, it's, it's just a cycle over and over again. It's all over. It's just not where I work at, you know. He says he wants the city to do something, saying the daytime camping ban that was passed earlier this year hasn't been enforced and it won't work. People being forced to go into shelters, I guess. Reporting in Southeast Portland, Chandler Watkins, Fox 12 Oregon.